हेलो एवरीवन अस्सलाम वालेकुम नमस्ते एंड सत श्री अकाल होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग फाइन टुडेस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट Nintendo Wii U इमुलेटर व्हिच गोस बाय द नेम ऑफ CEMU लेट्स जंप इनटू इट फॉलोइंग आर द ऑप्टिमम रिक्वायरमेंट्स टू रन दिस इमुलेटर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द रिक्वायर्ड डाउनलोड इन दिस केस वी आर सपोज्ड टू डाउनलोड टू फाइल्स Number one, itself the emulator from cemu.info. On the very main page, we have the download file link. Let's click it, and here we have the download file. And the second file we are supposed to download is cemuhook from cemuhook.sshnuke.net. Here we have the required download file. We are going to click on it. and we are going to download cemu hook is required as a plugin to support the graphic packs and additional controller support once both the emulator and hook files are downloaded now is the time to extract both files both files come in zip format here we are going to create a folder with name of cemu and inside the folder we are going to extract the main emulator file just like this both 7zip and winrar can be used for the purpose of extraction in the same cmu folder we are also going to place the cmu hook file just like this and here we go i would personally recommend downloading the cmu file in drive other than windows drive And now is the time to launch the emulator from CEMU XG. On the very first launch, the emulator is going to ask for initial setting like this for a custom memory card path. My path is just like this. You guys can also choose a path of your own. Game path where you guys are keeping your ROM. We will choose this later on. And the third thing is downloading the latest community graphics pack. Here we go. The graphic packs are going to help boost the game, the resolutions and custom settings. Just like this, we are going to give it a quick quick look. Like this, where here we have certain options. And in the next step, we are going to configure our controller. I have a PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller, so I'm going to configure here like this as a Wii U gamepad. as like this we can configure the controller so easily and comfortably once the controller is configured we are going to create the setting and save we are going to choose this option to skip this initial setup on the next run and we are going to close And now the third step and the most important step is the default configuration of CEMU emulator and how we are supposed to install the games inside the emulator. First thing we are going to click the general settings. We keep the options as it is. In the graphics, Vulkan is supposed to be the primary API with async shaders enabled and other options stay as it is. Audio settings remain as it is. and in the account we guys can also create a custom account but we'll go with the default account and we are going to close the general setting second is the input setting as we have already configured our dual shock core controller with the emulator and uh, after that cpu infinity is supposed to be all logical cores and in the debug cemu hook is supposed to be enabled to enable other plugins and custom graphic pack in order to install the games inside the emulator we can either select the directories where the roms are kept for example in my system the roms are kept in this directory i'm going to choose this folder and uh, once i refresh the roms will start showing up inside the cmu emulator The other way around is to install the game directly inside the emulator. For that, I'm going to 
go inside the directory of setup and inside the meta once I click this file the game will start installing inside the emulator directory and the good thing about this emulator is both title updates and DLC can easily be installed by a single click just like this I have both title updates and DLC downloaded for this game I am going to click the DLC folder and install them just like this here you can see the DLC version 16 is now installed in the same way I am going to install the title update just like this and here we go our title update is also installed and we have the recent most updated version of this game once the title is all set up inside the CE emulator we can go for the specific settings of the game at first the graphics pack let's say we are going to click this one and we are going to enhance the TV resolution of this game to 1080p and pad resolution also to 1080p shadows can also be enhanced and blur can also be enhanced so here we have the graphics pack applied and the second setting is the game profile we can enhance it to multi-core recompiler and we can enhance it to maximum cycles and uh, keeping it to Vulcan here we have the specific settings of the game being done now the game is all set and ready to play we are going to double click and our game starts if you guys love this video please leave your valuable comments like share and subscribe to my channel Rev Adil We are running this game in full 1080p resolution. And as you can see, it's playing pretty much smooth. Not to mention, this emulator is pretty much compatible with most of the games ever released on Wii U. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do like it, share and subscribe to my channel Revadil. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.